This one's going to be fun. We all know that Power BI slicers look a bit blah. So I made a colorful slicer in Power BI. What more? When you click on the item in this slicer, even our charts are going to change their color. So today, let's figure out how to build all of this from scratch using Power BI. Let's go. Here is a simple sales report of awesome chocolates. We can select any country and the charts update. But you can see that the slicer looks a bit dull and uninspiring. Even when I change the slicer settings and go to a tile option, we are not able to format the color. We can set a single background color for all the items, but that's it. We can't really do much more than that. And here is my colorful slicer. If I pick a country, I get the charts for that country in the color of that country. So if I go to India, I get nice orange color. And if I go to USA, I get this nice purple color. So how do I build this? The trick is to use the data labels and conditional formatting feature of Power BI. So let's build all of this from scratch. I'm going to make a duplicate of our lame slicer page. We're going to take out this slicer and then introduce a new table into our data set. This table is called country colors. So here is my table. It has just six rows, one for each country and the color that I want to use for that country. These colors need to be same hex codes as your Power BI theme colors. So if you go to the view ribbon, whatever theme you pick, right now I'm using the default theme. So if I go to customize the current theme, I'll see the six colors that are used for accents. So those are the six colors that I applied there. If you are using a different theme, then you need to put the same hex codes there so that everything syncs up nicely. To get the hex code of each color, you can just expand it out and you'll see the hex code here. Just select this, copy it and put it into the file. So I created this simple Excel file that has the country names and the hex codes and then saved this as a CSV and brought it into Power BI model here. Once you have that, just make sure that you link up the country in both places. That way we can access the color information. Next, we are going to add a stacked bar chart. And in this bar chart, we are going to put country into legend area so that each country gets its own color. And then I created a dummy measure. This dummy measure is just equal to one. And then we are going to visualize that dummy measure for each of the countries. So what happens is each country gets a one width of the bar. And as we have six countries, the total bar will have six width. Now, I want to show the name of the country inside the bar. So we'll create a measure called slicer label, which is basically selected value of the country colors country column. This will list the name of the country and then select this bar graph, go to format data labels and enable the data label and go to the values area and here use the custom label option. This is a new feature of Power BI through which we can bring custom values as labels for our charts. We are going to add the field, that slicer label field, and then that label field will go and sit inside the chart here nicely. At this point, we no longer need any of the legend or title or any of those. And this is how our chart looks like. You can also go to the bars area here and adjust the spacing. So I went with 100 pixels and adjusted the size of this so that it looks like that. Now, if I pick any particular country, because of the cross filtering behavior within Power BI, that country's value will automatically be highlighted in the trend chart as well as individual product sales report. What we want to do is instead of highlight, we want to filter down the values. So we'll select this particular graph, go to format, edit interactions, and make sure that the interaction behavior is filter for both graphs. That way, if I pick Australia, I just see the Australia product sales and the trend, same for India. Next up, whatever country I pick, I want to see the bars in that particular country's color. 
So we are going to add another field called chart color. This is a measure that just picks the selected value of the color column from our country colors table. And if nothing is picked, then it's going to return a default value. Here I'm using 333333. 333. This is a slightly dull black color. Then we are going to pick this bar chart, go to the format settings, go to bars. And instead of the default color, we are going to bring the color through conditional formatting using that FX button. Here from gradient, I'm changing this to field value and then search for the color option and point to the chart color field. So now automatically, whatever country you pick, that country's color will be used in the chart color here. So if I go to New Zealand, I see New Zealand colors. And if I go to UK, I see UK colors. And if I uncheck this, then the color will be the default black color that we used. How do we do this for the line chart? If I select the line graph or the area graph and go to the colors here, we don't have the conditional formatting option on this. So here is an extra trick. Go back to the visual options and first turn this area chart into a column chart. And then go back columns and here now we have the conditional formatting option. So we'll click on that, select field value and set the conditional formatting to that field. This way, whatever country we pick, that's what it will show. Now the problem with this is it's not going to work if your interactions are not set correctly. Previously, we have only set the interaction for this bar graph. So now I'll select this and go to format, edit interactions and make sure that the interaction is set to filter option, not the highlight one. At this point, if I now go to New Zealand, my column chart is also in the New Zealand colors. But we didn't want the column chart, we wanted a line chart. So at this point, select this graph and if you go to the visual options and change back to area chart, you will get an area chart, but the color of the markers will be same color as the New Zealand color. I'm not really sure why Power BI team decided to do it like this. There is no indication that this would happen on the screen anywhere, but the conditional formatting kind of remembers and then goes along with the new chart type. Let's just change the line color and the area color. And let's make these markers nice and big. Now, whatever country I pick, that's how my line looks and that's how my bar chart looks. Take your Power BI skills to the next level using my Power BI tips and tricks playlist that is showing up on the screen. And consider subscribing to my channel to add a little bit of color to your life. Bye.